hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country a do election tribunal forensic expert testifies on obaseki's ui certificate i know some persons would be surprised saying that i thought we are done with this um, alleged certificate forgery yes um that was um, with um, the All Progressive Congress, but we know there are other political parties, four other political parties in Edo State that are still contesting the outcome of the election and that have, have dragged the governor to court. So they are still in court at the moment. The governor um, is still, he still has those hurdles to cross. Just um, the news reaching us right now is that uh, a forensic expert has testified. But I know some persons might still be saying that, but... Um, the Federal High Court in Abuja has uh, has ruled in favor of PDP and Governor Gordon Obaseki. Even they've done a lot of cross-examination to the point that um, the registrar, UI registrar, testified regarding the certificate. So what else are they doing? This court um, just sat in Benin City, Edo State. And uh, by law, they are contesting the outcome. They still have the right um, to, to follow it to the end and see what the outcome will be anyway guys and we'll get more details as to all that is going on right now but before we carry on guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again god bless you despite still basking in euphoria over the ruling of the federal high court in abuja dismissing the allegation of certificate forgery against governor Gordon obaseki of edo state the University of Ibadan's UI's Bachelor Degree Certificate of the Governor yesterday resurfaced at the Doe State Election Petitions Tribunal in Benin, where a forensic expert, Rafael Onwon Zoligo, testified on the allegation of forgery and was cross-examined by the counsel to the respondent. Onwon Zigo, who said he is a retired assistant superintendent of police, ASP, appeared based on the subopina by Action Democratic Party, ADP, and his governorship candidate, Iboy Emmanuel, and he claimed that the UI certificate presented by Obaseki in 2016 was different from the one he presented in the 2020 to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. He was examined by the lead counsel to INEC, Chief Adegbo Yega, Uwomolo San, PDP Rotimi Ogunose San, Obaseki, Ken Mozia San, APC, Emmanuel Oso, and Ize Iyamu Austin, Osare Kehwe. ADP and his candidates want in the petition where they sued INEC, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Obaseki, the All Progressive Congress, APC, and Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, want the tribunal to disqualify Obaseki because of the discrepancy in his certificate and nullify the vote cast for him. They want INEC to conduct a fresh election involving all other qualified governorship candidates except PDP and Obaseki. Justice Yonusa Musa, who led two other judges, Justice Suleiman Yahya, Abu Bakr, and Olu Fumilayo, Stanley adjourned till today, Tuesday, for the continuation of the hearing in the ADP's petition. Also yesterday, the tribunal also heard a petition by the governorship candidate of the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Tracy Agol, who also prayed for an order to compel INEC to conduct fresh elections involving all the disqualified candidates, excluding PDP and Obaseki. In the Agol's petition, the chairman of the tribunal adjourned till Wednesday for the defense of the second respondent, PDP, while the petitions of Action People's Party, APP, and Allied People's Movement, APM, have also been slated to be heard at a later date. They also asked the tribunal to nullify September 19, 2020, the re-election of Obaseki and his deputy Philip Shaibu while calling for fresh election by INEC, but to also exclude PDP, Obaseki, and his running mate in view of the call for their disqualification over alleged forgery of their certificates this this is quite interesting because i would want to say federal high court has ruled in favor of um, pdp and of governor godin or could it be that um, they did not hear that ruling 
You know, that's why I stated that it's interesting, but um, reactions have been going on that uh, most probably these are uh, four political parties that are still dragging the governor to court. Um, maybe they are just seeking for popularity ahead of um, other elections, um, ahead of um, the next governorship election after Obaseki leaves. Or on the, on the other hand, they are asking them a question that if truly INEC um, nullifies this election and um, does not allow Obaseki and PDP to contest, if um, you contest this uh, um, election, so that is the all the parties that are dragging Governor Godi Obaseki to, to court right now, the NNPP, the New Nigerian People's Party, and um, the Action Democratic Party as well, and also um, the Action People's Movement, all of them that if you are left alone to uh, um, contest in the election, will you really get votes? Let's not forget that in the election that was just concluded, Governor Gordon Obaseki um, got a whooping 307,000 votes that were cast for him. The next, the, the next votes that got so close to him was the All Progressive Congress. I would say that that is even quite very, very uh, 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 competitive because to get over 200,000 votes for APC and Obaseki, it's really, really a good one as well. But these other parties, no one can even remember what they scored. So... That is why um, Nigerians have been um, facing them and uh, what are they really after, you know. And one would think that after the Federal High Court ruled in favor of PDP, that would have put a close that, okay, um, let's, um, let's put an end to it. But that's not the case. It's still ongoing that forensic experts right now, they are testifying on Obaseki's UI certificate. And the claim they are making right now is that uh, the one he used during the 2016 election in his first term, that is not the same one he presented to INEC in this second tenor. Quite interesting. And they are all um, stating that the certificate is still forged in spite of the fact that the Federal High Court has ruled in favor of um, the governor and PDP. They still believe that the result is forged. Anyway, guys, we'll see how all of this carries on. So um, the forensic examiner has um, testified. What will be left to do now, they are going to cross assignment. And we know that this will, it, it, they, they all have lifespan. The cases, they will end very soon. So we'll would wait and see how all of this plays out. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.